Hey there, if you clicked on this video, you've probably encountered a situation where you've uploaded a custom font to your Webflow project, looks good in Designer, looks good in Chrome, Safari on the other hand, not so much. Now while I cannot tell you exactly why this is happening, I can show you how I was able to resolve the issue. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Project Settings and re-upload our custom font. So we're going to go to Project Settings and go to the Font tab. And once we're there, we're going to re-upload our custom font. So in my case, I'm going to re-upload Sharp Grotesque. And I'm going to re-upload all three versions, the EOT, WOFF, and WOFF2. And once it gets done uploading, you're going to see that by default, Webflow selects the font style as italic since it's an italicized based font. Herein lies the issue. So we're going to change the style to normal and then rename our fonts to the appropriate title. I'm going to take out the spaces so you can see the before and after. So I'm going to copy and paste the font name in, re-upload. And once they get done uploading, you can see the difference in the before and after. Our original Sharp Grotesque looks like a standard sans serif, but the re-uploaded version keeps the actual design of the font. And lastly, we have to go back into Designer and update all of our fonts to be this newly updated font. So now we're going to go ahead and republish. And once it gets done being published, we're going to go check it out in Safari. And there you go. Hope this helps. Thanks for checking out the video. Take care.